Hi, my name is Marisa and in this video I'm going to continue to show you the Hummingbird collection from Chantecai. I'm going to swatch the cool quad and all the four lip chic lipsticks. I'm going to apply them on me and I'm going to share with you my opinion. So if you are interested, just keep on watching. Thank you for tuning into my video and if you are new to my channel, welcome! I hope you would consider joining our group. You just need to click on the subscribe button as well as on the ring bell one in order to be notified whenever I post a new video. I would also like to say that this video, which is the second and my last one on the Hummingbird collection, is not done in partnership or sponsored by Chantakai. So all the opinions that I'm sharing with you are definitely my own and all the products I bought them myself. If you are interested in my opinion about the warm quartet and the perfecting blur powder, I've linked, sorry, here the video my first video on this collection so after seeing this one you can take a look at it i've also uh, linked that video at the end to make it more easy the cool quad comes in this blue packaging with the hummingbirds as all the products in this collection it's produced in italy it has a shelf life a suggested shelf life of two years after open and it looks like this I'm looking at the screen of the camera in order to be sure that you can see it properly all the eyeshadows on this quad are shimmering this one is a very reflective duochrome that shifts between green and pink. I can see it from here. This is a very light pink pearly shimmer. This one is a taupe. When you apply it on the eyelid, you will get an eyeshadow that pulls to the green. And this eyeshadow is a deep plum shimmer that has like slight pink sparkle in it. Shantakai suggests for this light eyeshadow to be used uh, in the inside corner as an highlighter, the taupe shade to be used all over the, the lid as a base, the deep plum to be used as an eyeliner and this duochrome to be placed on the lid as well. Obviously you can apply it as you so wish this plum all over the eyelid, this duochrome only in the center of the lid, this sparkling eyeshadow all over the lid just with an eyeliner will be beautiful. Obviously it's up to you. When we apply all the eyeshadows, especially this one in the, the crease and uh, slightly above the crease, it does give a very greenish taupe look to, to the eye and it's only when you apply the duochrome that the, the eye changes and you see the, the reflectiveness of the duochrome shifting to pink. You will be able to, to appreciate it better uh, when I do the application for this look and I've placed also a photo at the end with my eyes closed. You will be able to see it clearly, I think. So let me swatch it now for you.
As I mentioned in my previous video, the first one on this collection, I've learned with these lipsticks to appreciate the, um, the Lip Chic formula from Chantecai. I have used until now mainly the lip veils, which are very nourishing, hydrating, but more pigmented. These ones are equally lightweight, but they are more glossy. And also, I would say that the formula, because it has hyaluronic acid, will translate as a more hydrating lipstick instead of being as nourishing as the lip veil, which is enriched with the Baobab oil. I'd say this formula and these four colors, which are very beautiful, are perfect for the summer and the spring. I have applied all the four shades in me and you will be able to see how they translate. I've also made the composition uh, with me using the four lips in one single photo so you will be able to appreciate the different shades to them. To start the look I'm going to apply this taupe shade on my crease. Not sure you will be able to see. This shade has shimmer, but very lightly. I like it very much because I think it makes it softer on more mature lids. Now I'm going to use a flat shader and I'm going to apply the duochrome all over the lid. This it gives with just it gives a very soft veil of color as you can see but I want to see how far it goes so I'm going to wet it With the eyeshadow wet, we can see more clearly the, uh, the duochrome effect. And now I'm going to use my Surat eyeliner and make a very thin line close to the eyelashes. And I'm going to apply the purple over the black. This purple is very pretty, like this. There's a little bit of fallout with these two eyeshadows, so if you don't wear eye gel masks like I do when I apply my makeup, I would suggest you apply your foundation afterwards. And I'm going to apply a little bit of the purple on the bottom eyelash, just on the outer half. I'm going to smudge the edge of the bottom line. Now I'm going to use a small pencil brush and I'm going to apply this light pink, shimmery pink, on the inner corner of the eye and here very softly below the eyebrow. I'm going to see if I can deepen up a little bit the color of the crease with the taupe, but I don't think so. This is as intense as it will get. We can really see the flickering between the pink and the green on the eyelid when I shift my head. Hummingbird Marisa. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do my other eye and the rest of the makeup and I'll be right back to apply all the lipsticks for you to see. Be right back. I'm really excited for this. I confess I have already tried once the lipsticks. 
the three that arrived yesterday but I want to swatch them and then compare how they translate to the camera so my idea is to start with the coolest one which is called lupine and then go this one I have already showed and then this is the coral one and the, the orange one at the end Shantakai describes lupine as a soft cool pink this is going to actually match the pink reflect on the eyeshadow it does very well this is the horse and it's called joy and this would be the chic shade that I would select to go with this eyeshadow and this lipstick I will change it afterwards so this is how lupine looks like on me next one so now I'm going to apply honeysuckle and this is that kind of um, your lips but better color it's very close to my natural lip shade just a very soft pink Chantakai describes this as a dusty rose honeysuckle next one is the one with the pink packaging and it's called coral bell and this is a very spring like color Shantakai describes this one as a flattering coral pink and it's really pretty this is one that I will surely take out and use when the sun starts to come out and it looks like this on me very vibrant and brings life to the face very pretty and now we will have this one which is called passion flower the sheer bright orange I'm a little bit scared with that one you know that my skin has cool undertone I really hope this works out because I would really like to have an orange that I can wear I have one from Chanel Allure collection but it's too pigmented it translates as a very punchy orange that doesn't look very good on me I like it it's completely going against the eyeshadow and vice versa but I think that with the right 
colors of blush and uh, on the eyes I will be able to wear this one what do you think? honestly I have to say all these colors are beautiful it's just a question of choosing the right one for you or the right ones for you for that matter so this is passion flower So what do you think? Which one do you think suits me the better? <laughs> Leave it down below on the comments. So I'm actually going to switch because with this eyeshadow I think the one that looks the better is the coolest of them all, Lupine. So I'm going to place this one and I'm going to put a little bit of the chic shade Enjoy and I'll be right back. So this is how Lupine looks with the chic shade in Joy, which is the horse. So a very cool look. I went a little bit overboard with the blush, but because I was putting it on top of a darker and warmer shade, I wanted the cool pink to really show up and um, match the eyeshadow and the lipstick. And I think that because they are sheer, they are very easy to wear and as you could see, I could pull off practically all the four shades. The hardest one is obviously the orange, but I think we can make it work. And as a final reflection, I would like to say that this collection from Shantikai is most definitely my favorite one from all of those that they have released since I started this YouTube channel. The packaging is beautiful, the lipsticks gorgeous and the eyeshadows are really very special. They really shimmer and sparkle very much like the hummingbirds. So yes, definitely a most favorite one. Oh, and let's not forget the powder. I think it's rapidly becoming my favorite perfecting blur powder. And this is it from this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. And um, thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye!